Hi everyone. So I'd like to share one of the benefits of uh, spending time with God. So um, basically, when we carve out a time and space to be with Him, and uh, and that could mean uh, th 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 that time of being with Him could be just being quiet in His presence. You know, just offering him our silence you know i mentioned that uh, phrase in the in a previous video and um and i had never heard that before actually it was the first time uh, that just came to my heart so i said it you know but it's like you're offering god your quietness you're offering him your silence you know and um and it would be like i suppose it would be like somebody who um let's say you have a a pet and then your pet just comes and sits bes beside you and they're just quietly sitting beside you they're not asking you for anything they're not demanding for any then they're not demanding any anything from you and they're not trying to tell you anything they're just sitting there beside you you know or it could be like a child a little a baby just sitting just lying beside you quietly beside you and that that baby is not asking for anything the baby is not crying for for food or anything like that the baby is just there looking into your eyes and with the occasional smile you know so it would be that sort of thing you know so you're just quiet in the presence of god just being with him that's that's all it is um, and then, of course, the the mind will try to in, introduce some um, some topics, some discussions, you know. But you just move those things away, and as those ideas come, and I, I, as you recognize those ideas and um, and uh, thought patterns, you just move them aside. Um, and don't beat yourself up if the if you find yourself entertaining some idea. As soon as you recognize yourself entertaining an idea, you just move that idea aside because sometimes the ideas they come, they creep in, and then you find yourself thinking about something. But you and then suddenly you realize, oh my goodness, I've been thinking about this for a few seconds. But don't beat yourself up. You just nicely just uh you know push it aside and put your eyes and your gaze back onto the lord um meaning your focus and your attention back onto the lord and um and you know there are benefits of uh doing that because when you do that it's a time when actually you're um you you are able to receive um from god and um and one of the things that we can receive from the Lord during those times are um, strength. Strength is, is probably the number one uh, thing that we can get during that time, if I'm honest. Um, you always come out strengthened, you know, and, um, and uh, hopelessness disappears. You always come out of that encounter or, or that session or that period with God. You, you always come out more hopeful and you want to phone everyone you want to tell everyone how great they are and how much you love them and uh, honestly this is this is really true that's that's what tends to happen when you come out of that um, time that you spent with the lord you, you tend to want to uh want to give everyone a ring or speak to you know tell everyone how wonderful they are and how much you love them and this and that, you know, because the Lord has energized you, you know, do you remember there's that scripture where he said that, um, he said uh, that he will give, this is the woman at the well, um, this is John chapter four, he said to the lady, he said, I will give you living water and, um, and if you drink of this water, you're never going to thirst again. And, um, and so, you know, a lot of times our spirit is actually or our soul is actually thirsty and um, and dry and and you know just dehydrated and in the presence of God we can drink um, that living water you know and um, and yeah and it's a, it's a spiritual 
drinking it's a spiritual thing that happens you may not necessarily even know that you are you are drinking the um the living water from god you know but um but that's what happens and i i know that there are teachings about um um speaking in tongues praying in tongues that that is the living water and that is drinking the living water and this out of your belly and i know there are those teachings um but what i am saying is that it's just that um when we go into the presence of the lord we are energized and also um our thirst is quenched as well and the more we dwell in his presence the more hydrated we are and the more strengthened we are and the more energized we are so it goes from strength to strength to strength so you don't stop in the one day that you spent with him the, you know the one time that you spent with him but you you have, on another day you, you you have a another time with him and a, another time with him preferably every day and uh, the other thing that's also the other benefit that happens is um well before i say the second benefit that happens actually i just want to say that sometimes um you can use the scriptures to to do this you know you can maybe open um a verse a, a chapter no sorry open a page that you that you want to like there's this one i've just opened psalm 66 just randomly and he says make a joyful shout to god oh uh, let's make a joyful i mean make a joyful shout and sing sing out the honor of his name in the middle of a silent oh goodness i was just literally talking about being silenced before the lord but anyway but yeah that that as well but um okay let's have a look at psalm 63 63 says um verse 67 sorry psalm 67 verse 3 says let the peoples praise you O god let all the peoples praise you and um and so you open that scripture and you read that and then you can start thinking about that and start asking the lord to speak to you about what that really means you know um how to, to i don't know you just speak to the lord about it and just um, in other words you don't come to his presence assuming that you know anything you come with a you come positioned as somebody who wants to receive from god which means that whatever scripture you open you actually and you read a little bit of that scripture you're waiting on the lord with that scripture for whatever new understanding he might um, shed on that scripture. So if I go back to that Psalm 66, which says, make a joyful, make a joyful sound, a joyful shout to God, all the earth. So I could, I could see myself just closing my eyes and thinking about that scripture and then setting my attention to the lord the lord jesus christ and my soul calling on him and then i'm sort of imagining what what is what 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 is it going to be like for the whole world to shout and make a joyful sound to the lord you know what's it going to look like for the whole earth to make a joyful sound to the Lord and then sing out the honor of his name. And I'm just thinking about this. And then I'm just sort of saying to the Lord quietly, um, Lord, um, it's good to sing to you. And, uh, you know, I like to sing to you. And who knows, I might end up singing a little melody or something or whatever, you know. And then I put myself in that position where I'm in his presence again. And I'm just quiet. So so these are just to two ways there are many other ways that you can um enter into this time of um silence um silence uh time with the lord you know you can do that with the first example i've just given or you can go in with the scripture that i've just you know what i've just described where you go to the lord using a scripture you know and um and and there are like i said there are many other ways 
but I'll finish off the video by just sharing uh, the, another benefit that comes to us. Another benefit that comes to us when we spend time with the Lord in such a way, um, in, in the way I'm describing in this video, another benefit that comes to us is that we gain insight and understanding. And also we, um, we, we receive God's uh, favor and God's answer to prayer as well. He basically enlightens us and gives us understanding um, concerning something. Um, th this is really true. Yeah, if you search the scriptures, you see places in the in the Bible where it, it discusses such such things. And also, I can testify in my own life that this is actually true. You know. When we spend time with God in uh, in deep silence or deep meditation or deep intimate intimate time with God, He does enlighten us and He does um, give us understanding and um, gives us um, yeah He just basically gives us an understanding concerning something. And he might even give us an instruction on how to approach a situation on how or how to solve a problem, you know. And um, and the other thing I've noticed as well is sometimes after spending such a time with the Lord, you find yourself making a decision that you hadn't made before. And how does that work? How that works is that the Lord says that on that day you will know that I am in you and you are in me and what you ask of me i will do and then um, and there's another scripture where he says that um he says that that god works through us to do um um the, the lord he works through us you know and uh, and the spirit um he says this he's he will send us there's another scripture where he says he will send us his spirit and his spirit will um will help us will be our helper you know so what then happens is that you come out spending that time with the Lord and you find that you are making a decision that you were not able to make previously or you didn't even consider even making such a decision or maybe you're going somewhere and you turn in a direction that you, you would normally not turn to and then as you walk along you, you discover something and it just opens a whole new opportunity that um and all because you just did something you were compelled to do something and you did it and that's usually the holy spirit leading you you know there's a place where the lord said he said that he will he will lead uh his people you know um and he said that his word is like a lamp um on on our feet that he he will lead us and there are other scriptures really that talks about the fact that God is able to lead someone in a way, in a route and in a way that they did not know of, you know, he's able to lead you through a path, a path that you were not even aware of, you know, and then you look back and you, you say, oh, wow, if I hadn't turned that direction, I would never have discovered this. Or you say, oh, wow, if I, wow, if I hadn't made that this, this, this um, decision, I would never have received this or seen this or achieved this or, or whatever you know so um so yeah so i'll end the video now but um it's just to encourage us to um to build our fellowship our fellowshipping with the lord and um one of the 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 real um strong, strongest way to do that will be to abide in his presence and a lot of times it will require as times of silence you know not not all the time but there's there's going to be times when you're you will quieten your soul in his presence you know and i just want to say this because i i feel there's somebody asking this question so so i can feel i can hear someone asking so why um why do i need to silence my soul before the lord there are many reasons in the scripture. You can do a, a, a Bible study on that. But the answer that I can give you today is that, um, you see, sometimes us 
believers or even just us human beings some human beings sometimes we go to pray we go to god but we are not maintaining eye contact with him you know we we go to his presence and um and we speak to him or we we get into a duty mode so we're doing all the things that it, that is required of us but there is hardly any time of eye contact with him and i say this because i've actually experienced this you know or rather i've i've witnessed this not that i've experienced i've i've wit I've, I've i can bear with i've I've, I've seen this okay so what happened was there was one time i was um in the presence of god and i was just quiet in his presence and then while i was quiet in the lord's presence apparently i had gone into a, a trance or into a realm and i i had apparently i had i found myself in a in the middle of a, a situation and what it was was suddenly i saw the lord looking at someone and it was the first time him and that person had ever had eye contact and i i witnessed it witnessed it and i saw the lord when he looked at that person and that person looked at him and there was an eye contact established and i saw the heart of the lord um, and this was our Lord Jesus Christ. I saw his heart. I, I can't put it into words, but I bore witness to that moment. And then I came out of that trance. As soon as I saw it, I, I saw it. I witnessed it. I came out of it. I was like, oh, wow. You know, and I realized that that was the first time that individual had ever, um, had ever been, uh, I con had eye contact with the Lord and I marveled I thought wow wow you know so don't forget that we have a spiritual body you know and don't forget that we're um that this is just the flesh what we see here um what we can touch and see and feel this is just the flesh but we have a, a spiritual body with spiritual um eyes and ears and uh, you know the Lord said let them come to me and um, get eye salve that I, sorry, come to me that I may give you eye salve that you may see, you know, so we know that we have spiritual eyes. And also he talks about people who they, they hear, but um, but they are deaf, you know, they hear, they can hear, but they're not hearing. So we know that there are spiritual ears as well, you know. So, so in the spirit realm, we have all these things in the spirit realm. So yes, um, I, I I saw that I saw it um, with my own two eyes in the spirit that um, that somebody came in in the thr throne of the Lord and it was the first time that they ever um, had eye contact with him. So whenever I I so I took something from that when I spent time with the Lord. I am aware that it's important for me to quieten my soul um, so that I can be myself in his presence, so that I can be vulnerable, transparent, real, as I am, is as he sees, you know. Whereas um, if I just go and I'm just praying this and I'm just doing this and I'm just singing this song and I'm just doing this and I'm doing that and do all these things you know it might be difficult to actually offer myself um in earnestness you know even though you can offer yourself in earnestness while you're praying and dancing um it's just a different you know it's just a different different uh it's just a little bit different shall i say but try it okay oh wow this is a long video okay so um so I think maybe I'll title this video for those who are longing to spend intimate time with the Lord. Maybe that's what I, because this video probably is not for everybody, you know. There are those who are not, um, they're not there, you know, you know. They love the Lord and, um, and but, but that's, but they're not there, you know. And there are some who 
they are there, they love the Lord and they want to spend uh, this kind of time with him, you know. So um, so maybe I will I will be mindful when I title the video so that um, so that those who are really interested will, will watch it and those who aren't so interested, I don't want to waste your time. <laughs> Oh gosh. All right, guys. So, um, yeah, so have a lovely evening and um, I look forward to seeing you in another video. Cheers. Bye.